Great people, welcome back to Global Happenings today. Mbaka finally has retraced his step and his statement as he has sent out an apology letter, which is important that you hear the content of it. It's all encompassing. He described even Peter B as a friend and all of that, but it, it's good enough that we'll look at it and uh, see what actually he said. All right, let's listen to the news. The spiritual director of Adoration Ministry, Enugu, Nigeria, AMEN, Reverend Father H.K. Mbaka, has tendered a public apology to the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, and all his supporters over his harsh remarks against Obi. It has been reported that Father Mbaka, during his midweek prayers, declared that Obi who he described as a stingy man, could not be a Nigerian president. It has also been reported that following the utterances of the controversial Catholic priest, his supporters and Catholic diocese of Enugu State disowned him, describing his political utterances as divisive and unbecoming of a priest. The church noted that his utterance breached Canon 20, 220 of the 1983 Code of Canon Law, which prohibited anyone from illegitimately harming the good name of a person. Mbaka, in, in his apology letter titled Reverend, Reverend Father Mbaka, blesses His Excellency Peter B. and his supporters, also said if in any way the supporters of Mr. Peter B. feel offended by his utterances or however... I was misunderstood by them. I asked for their understanding and forgiveness. The statement which was obtained on Friday was personally signed by Reverend Father Mbaka E.G.K. Camilius Antony. He, however, prayed for Peter O.B. that God would grant him his will, asking God to allow for the animations of a president that would deliver Nigeria from the trouble of bad leadership. The apology later read thus, said, My dear people of God, I am grateful to God for His unquantifiable and favorable blessings, miracles, love, and life for Adoration Ministry in Nugu, Nigeria. I assure the people of God and Nigerians that I am praying for good governance and good leadership in this country and that God will give us leaders after His own heart. As it stands right now, it is obvious that Nigeria is passing through indescribable insecurity challenges, an inestimable unemployment crisis, massive corruption, heinous crimes, and unbearable suffering endangered by bad leadership. I bear with my fellow countrymen and women in whatever we are passing through in these trying times. I call on the Adora and the entire people of God to join hands in praying that God will deliver us from the plans of the devil and its wicked agents. I am a servant of God and my intention is not to malign, malign His Excellency Peter Obi's image, but to pray for him. May God's will be done in his life. I pray to God whom I serve to give our beloved people good and excellent leaders who will take care of them and lead them to the promised land. Anyone who God wishes to make our leader is my choice. In this vein, I give my blessings to His Excellency Peter B. and his supporters. I also give my blessings to the other candidates and their supporters, whose intention is also to give Nigeria good leaders. In any way, the supporters of Mr. Peter B. feel offended by my utterances, or however I was misunderstood by them, I ask for their understanding and forgiveness. As a servant of the Most High God, I pray that it shall be well with my people. I am an ardent supporter of good governance, justice, equity, love, and godliness. At this time, our people are passing through the valley of shadow of death. Psalms 23 verse 4. I pray for peace, love, and anything that will bring blessings and favor for our people and to our suffering, teeming youths. I will always stand with you in all your ordeals. God will take care of you and bless you miraculously for me. 
It further added that my intention is not to fight or malign Mr. Peter Obi. He is my friend and remains my friend and brother. I love him and I wish him success. May God bless him and his good supporters. God will, God's will be done in his political endeavor. The followers of Peter Obi are the same youth I am praying for, sacrificing for, fighting for, speaking for, and working for their integral well-being. What the youth are passing through and their condition gives me sleepless nights. It is for this reason that I yearn for good governance and worthy leaders that will take care of them. We are passing through indescribable, unbearable, and undeserved hardship in the country. I pray for divine intervention. I am not in any political party. I support good governance and good um, and good people. Any good person that God can give us is my choice or my choice candidate. I am a servant of God. For the sake of peace, I ask for forgiveness in any way I am misunderstood. And to Peter of himself, I ask God to bless him and manifest his will in his life. When God says yes, who can say no? And when God says no, who can say yes? I bless Peter B and pray for him. I bless my dear fellow adults and pray for them. I bless the people of God wherever and, and I pray that it shall be well with you all. Mm, those were the words of the letter, um, or let me call it public apologies, sent out by Father Mbaka. You know, he was lambasted left right center in a manner that i believe he least expected it will be in that form and uh, right now he has decided to tender his apology but looking deep into the apology you see it's something that is forced out of him the man still talks about the will of god which all of us are craving for and still says that what god says when god says yes no man can say no which is true and when god says no who can say yes however nigerians uh, are earnestly desiring for a man who will lead us to the promised land. And it's important at this point for you to allow them to make their choices. We reflect back on what God said to Samuel when the people were demanding for someone to lead them. God told him, stay off. They have the right, you know. So you allow the people to make their choice. And all what you pray is divine direction for them. And, you know, let's let, let pastors stop getting involved in unnecessary statement or stop making unnecessary statement about people who are political leaders. I, you know, if you want to condemn bad leadership, you condemn it. But being at the forefront to fight for someone who has been tested and proven has been good enough for the people uh, uh, you are trying to blackmail him and all of that. It makes no sense at all because of the fact he didn't give you money and all of that. It doesn't make any sense. So with this apology, which I feel that it is traceable to the pressure you may likely be getting from uh, the diocese, Catholic diocese of Enugu, uh, I feel that the, the supporters of Peter will, be, will forgive him and uh, possibly talk to his own supporters to go back to him because I heard uh, that more than 30,000 people left him in a single day when he made that utterance against Peter B. And I, I pray also that uh, let this be a product of his heart because there are people who have been forced to do things. You know, he had already stated before now that at one time he was being asked to apologize to Peter B. And that he didn't do it from his uh, whole heart. It was just something he based on what the father said he had to do with. And so I pray this one will be from his. And that's what we would like to leave it. Go to our comment section.